What's up everybody, Dr. Craig Ingstrom here, but you can just call me Craig because I'm not a pompous a-hole. In this quick Canva tutorial, I'm gonna be talking about colors, some tips and tricks to make coloring in Canva a little bit easier. So let's get started. First things first, if you are a premium subscriber, you will have a brand kit. When you click on that, you can add all kinds of logos. You can see that I have my business logo, personal website logo, and so on. But more importantly, I have brand colors. As you can see here, I've already set those up. SIU is where I work, and I also do some work part-time at Elmhurst University, so I set up a color palette for them. What's really brilliant here is you can also discover palettes and say, for example, you want to do something like sky, and it'll bring up a variety of options for you. You can add that, and then when you are in the designer, it's always going to be there for you. So for example, if I click on the color scheme, you can see my color palettes, and I could just add more color palettes. What's also nice, of course, is they do now offer you some recommendations for photo colors or item colors that are already in the document, making your life easier, and of course, the document colors at the top. So once you start adding colors, Canva has made it super easy to build with consistency, but there are some things sometimes that you might want to work around. Let me jump back over to that brand kit just to show you that if you are building a brand kit, you would click on this. You could add a hex code here. This is the hashtag and then the numbers, which is the code that is used when you are dealing with website design. And that's the one that I would recommend that you use. So recently I was building a overlay card for a live stream that I was doing with Maggie Mapes and I wanted her university's color. She works at Kansas University. So one thing you can do to get the right colors in your document that you're building is to go to the branding for that organization. So most organizations are going to have a brand center or in the case of my university, they call it identity guidelines. And if you click on color use, you will see here that they actually have the color palette and you can easily draw upon that. Just like for Kansas University, I dialed down their page and they have all of their different color palettes palettes and all I did was take that hex code copy it bring it back over to the document and I just new color and add it in there and that's brilliant so you can see how easy peasy that really is I just hit control Z to undo that now let's say though for example for some reason they you just can't find the identity guidelines or you have a picture and you want to match the color of something like an image that you've uploaded and you want to try to get it right what do you do so there's a couple of tricks that you can do uh, one of the things that you can do is to install a color eyedropper and what I did is just added this to my browser so if I click on that it's called simple color picker but if you just go to your app store for the browser you use and any chromium based browser is going to have a ton of options and these are free and then all I'm going to do is click on this and I'm going to say pick color and then I go back up to that and it'll actually give me the hex code do note that this is really based on your screen so it's not going to be 100% precise but it is a workaround Another option for that is actually to go to PowerPoint and use their eyedropper so you could drop the image that you want to match. So let's say, for example, you don't have that color picker or you can't find something for your browser. And all you're going to do is like, let's say, for example, I want to change these colors. I can come over here. I go up to change color. I click on that, go to eyedropper. And let's say that I want it to be this color. And now I can type and it'll be that color. So this is just one really cool way to do that. What's brilliant about this is that once you have that color there, you can go to more colors and it'll bring up the hex code for you. I'm just going to copy this, go back over to Canva. And let's say that I wanted to change this now to that color. I just go ahead and do new color, copy and paste that in there. So I hit control V and there you have it. So just really easy to sort of customize that. The nice thing is, this actually works for organizations. Let's say you want to build something that's consistent with the brand design for Microsoft or LinkedIn or Google, or you're applying for a job and you look up the color scheme for that organization to customize a bit of your resume, like the headers. Now you know how to sort of do that. And as I showed you in PowerPoint, you can easily change the colors and you can do that in any Microsoft document. And one thing I just want to recommend is because not everything will be done in Canva or you might have interns or employees or you might send away uh, like on Fiverr for a project to get done and you want them to create a document or something in your business color scheme. So this is actually the colors for my company, Communication at Work, and I've created a little identity guideline 
that everybody can follow, just making life easier. So do that for yourself to create consistency. So hey, if you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel, but at the very least hit that like button. It's totally free and it does help out the algorithm. Get this video in front of more people who might benefit. Also consider checking out my company, Communication at Work, where I do LinkedIn reviews, affordable resume reviews, premium resume jujitsu, and a variety of other things, public speaking coaching, and finally, if you want, check out my personal website, my teaching website, see what I'm up to when I'm teaching students. Until the next video, I hope you have a wonderful day.